This past weekend, I went to another cars and coffee event and I took this guy with me. This is the Minolta XG1, a basic 35 millimeter film camera. So I did something really stupid. I didn't even realize I was shooting Portra 400 and I don't know why or how I didn't even check the film roll because before I even went out and shot, I just had it in my head that this roll was a Kodak Gold because I had recently purchased Kodak Gold and it's rated at 200 speed. So immediately I just, I set my roll or I set the speed of the camera at 200 so not a big deal but after i completed the roll and saw oh i shot portra 400 so i was kind of worried that all of the photos would be overexposed by a little bit but again i think i'd rather have it overexposed than underexposed but to my surprise they turned out very beautiful So I don't have the most experience in shooting cars, but my goal for that day was to try to shoot more close up and zoomed up shots of more so details instead of the whole car. I think my goal was to try to shoot a perspective of the car where you kind of, you don't even need to see the emblem of the car to know that this is a Porsche or this is an Audi or whatever the car may be. And I know you kind of have to know your cars to know the details of it to actually notice those things. But I think as a car enthusiast, that was kind of like my goal. I wanted to zoom in on details like the headlights or the tail lights, the rims, the shape of the mirror, stuff like that and I wanted to just focus on the small aspects of the cars. I think the cool thing about these events is there's not always the same cars. Um, every now and then you'll definitely see the cars that are always there every weekend, but for the most part, they're always like rotating. People will show up in a classic car, really old school cars, some new cars. And I think the unfortunate thing about this past weekend was that there was almost too many Porsches, which I love Porsches, but when shooting something i kind of just wanted more variety but you know it is what it is i wasn't necessarily complaining So I kind of wanted to talk about this impressive Minolta XG1 and I don't think impressive would have came to my mind when I first picked up this camera and this is only my second time shooting with it. The first time I made a video on it because this is my grandpa's old camera and when I first just got it I thought it was just dead but I realized you had to put a battery in it so I did shoot with it and I did make a video about it as I mentioned before and I did kind of talk about the background there. I'm kind of surprised at the quality of these images I'm not gonna lie because 
the resale for this camera it doesn't go for a lot i think you can pick these up for like a hundred dollars this luckily i have one in like basically mint condition and it's so solidly built and i use a 50 milliliter lens on it But after getting these images back, I not only were these images not overexposed, and I don't know if the lab kind of tweaked it a bit, maybe when they scanned it, the immediate images were a little bit overexposed, but I don't know if it's just me, but the quality on these images coming from this really um, everyday like film dad camera, that, I mean, that's kind of what I call it because I just shoot this thing in automatic. It's kind of like my lazy camera and I'm definitely going to be shooting with it a lot more. But it's, I don't know, I was just so blown away at the images that I got back from this. And you guys can tell me if you guys think I'm a little um, exaggerating on that, but if you take a look at the images, I would kind of thought these were coming from a medium, medium format camera. Not all of them, but a lot of them I was just really shocked. So I hope you guys enjoyed that short little video. Like I said, I would definitely, definitely be shooting more with this Minolta XG1. It's just so portable. It's very easy to use and cross my fingers, but so far I've had no issues with this camera at all. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to please subscribe to the channel and drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.